Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Animaniacs. Hey, everybody. So, finishing on with, uh, Sak haven't you heard? I'm Sakamoto. <laughs> I hate you, Sakamoto! I love you, Sakamoto! Hi. <laughs> Alright, so this is episode seven and nine. <laughs> and um the last episode is a doozy, so we're gonna save some time for that one. Holy yeah. crap, that's a lot to unpack. Oh. Yeah. So let's start with this uh, first episode and our first task we're presented with is Sakamoto has to go buy um, adult yeah. or rent adult films for the school bullies so yeah. that he can rent his movie because they're holding it hostage. The pettiest of petty. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a good method. What? <laughs> I don't know. No, no, it's not. If anyone else, you would have got punched or they would have just not given a shit. <laughs> Yeah, true. It's like, oh, I can't rent my movie for my science project. Oh, big deal. I'll go rent something else and do something else. True. True. Not talking about it, though. Talking about it, no back there from no challenge. Nope. <laughs> and my god. <laughs> Didn't he create a crosswind to open the... They, I, It looked like he did that. Yeah. I love that everyone in this world has such a rapid imagination. Yeah. Also, everyone's kind of an idiot. <laughs> oh, we'll get into that more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, um, he does manage to get into the thing and then try to get them up to the register. The next task is trying to get them up there without the girls from class seeing him take these out. Yeah, because that'd be awkward. Very awkward. I don't know. I, I kind of want to bring this up. Do you remember the first time you went into the adult section at the movie store? I never did. Because um, the ones I went to didn't have one. Okay. We had one that did. And um, yeah, it was always like this weird challenge for the teenage guys to try to sneak in there and uh -huh. rent one. I don't know why. It was like that coming of age challenge. Oh my god, you freaks. So, <laughs> um, if you want my pointers, and I'm not encouraging this, but confidence goes a long way in that endeavor. We'll just say that. That actually makes sense. Yeah. D don't make it look like you don't belong there. Exactly. If you're sneaking around and, like, being overly cautious going in there, it's obvious you shouldn't be in there. Yeah, yeah that's true. Also, we're in the day and age of internet. I don't know if any porn shops are really going to be open. Yeah. <laughs> it's more of a collector vintage thing yeah. at this point, I believe. Now, originally, I didn't think he even went in. Yeah, I know. So they show that the door, like the curtain to the section, wavers. But you don't see And you don't see him go in. And. Like, see, my theory was. He ditched them. Yeah, he ditched them, managed to find a return copy, and then rented right that. Yeah. But, but no! no! No, he did go in and he did rent quite a few. Like, I think he just took a whole aisle, to be honest with Yeah, you. it looks like he took an entire shelf and aisle. Yeah. It's like, did you really have to rent the entire shelf? They didn't tell him what he wanted. What that's, they wanted. That's true. So I guess you kind of have to pick a little of everything. And uh, that like, Whatever you're into, boys. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what do you want? Here, here's yeah. a stack. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. And then he gets up to the register... And they're like, oh, yes, he's in the clear. There's a new guy working there. Don't not question him. Right. And then the manager walks in. Oh. And the manager has basically seen every type of student try this to rent uh, adult, videos. adult videos underage. 
And so he's like, all right, let's play this little game of yours. Let's see yeah. if you how long until you crack and run out of here. Yep. But no, Sakamoto, confident as ever, <laughs> even drew a fake watch on his arm to make him look more adult. Yeah. It really put some pressure on the guy. He's like, looks at the watch quickly. He's like, I have to be somewhere. Can you hurry this up? And <laughs> somehow, this manager saw Goes out of me. this marker a gold Rolex. Because of the way it reflect his skin reflected in the light. No. <laughs> no! <laughs> but it's an anime, so I will give it... Yeah. Like, there's yeah. gotta be a, a suspense of disbelief here because yeah. it is an anime and it's supposed to be over the top silly. That is true. But I just like watching this guy go through a mental freaking breakdown. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I can't tell what age he is! Is he a high school student or is he a guy from in the office that just likes porn? Yeah! <laughs> I was like, oh my god! <laughs> Sakamoto, are you a witch? <laughs> <laughs> I just think he's in a world that he shouldn't be in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's the first skit of the episode. Oh, yeah. The second but, skit but, is... But. Oh. He goes through all this trouble. Oh, yes, sorry. We do have to show how yes. this ends. Goes through all this trouble to rent these for them. Only for them to be like... <laughs> into the return box. Yeah. So... <laughs> They realize that Sakamoto doesn't look at porn, and they're like, we should be more inspired to be like him, so let's not look at this. <laughs> Nerds. Yeah. Yeah, fair. I mean, I think the moral of the thing is, is be let's more be like better. Sakamoto and be better. You yeah. don't need to look at that stuff to be a man. That's true. Besides, you have the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> yep. So we have basically the sports festival episode. Oh, God! Uh, every high school anime ever, you're going to see the culture festival and the sports festival. Yeah. I don't care what anime it is, it happens. Yeah. And this is a doozy. Yeah. So a group of the guys are worried that Sakamoto is going to outperform them at the sports festival and steal all the girls. So they all agree to sabotage. Yeah. They're like, well, we can't outperform. Not as individuals, but if we work as a team... <laughs> yeah. And, you know... Make him look like the fool. Had that work out for them. So, first thing we do is the uh, bread race. Um, oh, this is... Yeah. If you don't know what this is, this is where you run a relay race and you uh, run to get a piece of bread at the end of the race. With your teeth. With your teeth. And first one to get it down and cross the finish line wins. wins. I think you have to eat it too, but I'm not sure on that rule. Yeah. This one didn't seem like it, that was the rule. Yeah. W what did they do to trip him up? So, they tied it in barbed wire. So, my question is, what happens if he hits it with his eye? It's so high up, Cody. Um, like, well, we don't know. It's an anime. Yeah. But, and also, we might have looked at it as barbed wire. It might have just been regular wire. And they tied it really, really tight. Okay, that is fair. Because the point of those is you're supposed to tie them, but not so tight that you can't get them down. Okay. So, they probably just overdid it to prevent just, him from... Yeah, the screw them up. And... He does this technique, because he has he's the master of secret techniques. That are BS, yeah. personal opinion. Well, this one makes sense, because it yeah, is... Fair. Well, it's no, no, sense. it doesn't, Devin. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to be like, no! Shut, you shut up! So, yeah, he spins like an alligator death roll. Oh, he's this! To, so, to untie it. <laughs> yeah. And the principal's watch is like, I've seen this technique before. It was I've when I was younger. And in my <laughs> cut, cut back to when he looks And we see a flashback thing. of him watching an alligator tear something apart with the death roll. Yeah. <laughs> Blood splatter and everything. <laughs> I was like, oh, wow. Anyways, so yeah. Sakamoto prevails, gets his thing down. Yeah. Uh, next, we have to make a human tower. 
And they're like, okay, when he's on top, lean a little bit so he falls off. So they all lean and wobble, but he just stands there and he's like the leaning tower of Pisa. <laughs> and make them all... And the women are all swooning over him. Again! <laughs> so the last part is the relay race. Yep. So our model friend, the guy from episode two, <laughs> who's been in and out on these episodes. Yeah. Um... Sabotages Sakamoto by tying his shoes together. Mm -hmm. And Sakamoto takes up basically the cheetah run. <laughs> yep, with the um... baton in his mouth. Yeah. And we'll pass it off to this other girl who's under a lot of pressure to perform because everyone's watching her after Sakamoto. Yep. And she goes to grab it, but because it, the baton was in Sakamoto's mouth, it slips out of her hand, she drops it. Ground. Falls to the ground. Picks it up. Keeps running. Keeps running. Is far behind now. Sakamoto, now talking to the model, who had recently tied his shoes together, is like, this is going to be one of her memories forever. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Just basically guilt trips this guy. <laughs> and I was like, you got a point, though. Like, you're not sac like ruining Sakamoto. You're, You're ruining, ruining her. And, and everybody else. Yeah, everyone else is a part of this relay. Like, you put everything on your shoulders and you decide, no. Just to get revenge on me. Yeah. Oh, that was such so, good revenge. Yeah. So the model takes it upon himself to uh, make sure that no one remembers what the girl just did. Everyone's just going to remember him from this moment on asking what he did. We aren't going to tell you. <laughs> yeah, we're not. <laughs> Alright, the next episode. The School Culture Festival. Which amazingly was the entire episode. That, this was one of the entire episode ones. I didn't realize that. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, so, and, and we met so <laughs> Yeah, so I want to get into this. So we met what possibly is the arch rival to Sakamoto. This guy who's basically dropped out of college a lot and is probably in his 30s, mm -hmm. is what they said. Yeah. And likes to just come into school every now and then and mess with what, the most popular kid and make them quit school. Who happens to be? Right now, happens to be Sakamoto. Yeah. And it's all just a game to this guy. Mm hmm. And this guy is a psycho. And this guy's a psycho. We see his introduction is he takes the uh, Hayabusa. Mm -hmm. And shoves his face into a cotton candy machine maker. And kind of scars his nose up. And scars his nose. I'm like, holy crap! Yeah, I'm like, wow, psycho. <laughs> yep. Anyways, so they're setting up for the culture festival. It's a balloon display of mm -hmm. oddities. Mm -hmm. And Sakamo gives all these great ideas so that it looks really awesome. Yeah. But to... Uh, drop it, idiots don't want to help. Yeah. And the. Our friendly psycho. Our friendly psycho, I can't remember her name. It starts with a P, but. Yeah, I can't either. I didn't really quite catch it. Anyway, yeah. uh, talks to them and convinces them on how a way to set up Sakamoto for failure. Yeah. And that is, they're going to sabotage the balloon expedition and blame it on Sakamoto. And then they'll take the credit for helping. And then they take credit for helping while making Sakamoto look really bad. Also putting up wanted posters of Sakamoto with a reward for his capture? <laughs> or... We hope? I I'm assuming we're not killing him. That's a little too far. <laughs> you never know with but, these people. But I can't read Japanese, so I can't tell what that wanted yeah. poster said. And eventually, um, Sakamoto convinces him it wasn't him. Oh, yeah. Okay. So yeah. we go for this cat and mouse oh, chase yeah. where everyone's trying to capture Sakamoto oh, yeah. and he hides and gets away different ways. Right. The part where you said, everybody's an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> so he's in, like... 
he goes to the stage play that the seniors are performing, and he's just on stage pretending to be a tree. <laughs> and everyone's like, I can't find him. I know he's snuck in here. He must be hiding in the crowd. I'm like, everyone's an idiot. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I think the part where you said everybody's an idiot is where we sliding down the railing. Yeah. And then just switch to the stairs and they're like, where'd he go? Yeah. <laughs> like you didn't see him just step over you. Oh, damn it. <laughs> and then the tree. Yes. Yeah. Oh my God. Anyway, so long chase uh, out of the way. He comes back to the classroom um, and everyone's just looking at him like, did you actually do this? <laughs> And At it, first, he just walks out. Yeah, he's like, just walks away. And it makes him look very suspicious. Mm -hmm. Then he comes back, but he just hides behind the door with helium. Yeah. <laughs> Changes his voice to be a female voice and confesses that he did it. Or she did it, I guess. Yes. And they start to believe this mysterious woman behind the door confessing. Except for the two idiots... They know that it's not real. Yeah, they're like, no, this isn't the person who sabotaged it. It's Takamoto. And there's no way she would know that the display wasn't set up because it wasn't set up because we didn't set it up last night because we were going to sabotage it. <laughs> you guys are idiots. Yeah, basically they outed themselves and then everyone realizes, oh, you guys did it and you framed Sakamoto. Yep. And then they admit they were jealous. Yeah. Like, wow. Anyways, and then yeah. we'll move on to the final episode. So, oh! this episode starts off nice enough. It's three schoolgirls eating lunch and uh, telling their stories of how they met Sakamoto. And all the, this romantic way that he just appears before them. Yeah. And the life lesson they got from him. And then... It cuts to Sakamoto and his friend walking by, the fat chubby friend, yeah. walking by, and the chubby friend explaining uh, the time he first met Sakamoto. And basically he had a band-aid on his finger to hide a wart, and it fell off, and Sakamoto basically picked it up and put it on as if, like, putting on an engagement ring. Yeah, and then at the end they were like, oh, it's so romantic, and I'm like... He, he put a band-aid over a wart. <laughs> That's romantic. That's, God, you... <laughs> Girls have a low definite, low tolerance for what's romantic. I think they're just starved for romanticism in yeah. this world. Everyone just wants to be loved. <laughs> I can't blame them, but yeah. But you know, this next <laughs> section, though, <laughs> <woo -hoo! laughs> this was a doozy. So we get the friend's mom back in the picture, and she is with a parent-teacher interview. She's talking to the principal. The principal is very happy that her son is doing now remarkably well in classes. And she's so proud of him. And he's like, I believe the reason is because he has an outside influence. His friend Sakamoto is helping him. Oh, principal, why? Yeah. So the mom had believed that Sakamoto was just this digital entity that appeared in a dream or something. Yeah. Now, now she's like, "Oh, he is real. I have to see him again." How did she see him, Devin? So the son comes down with a cold and can't go to school that day. Yeah, and she takes it upon herself to dress up like her son yeah. and pretend to be him for a day. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like. No. No, no, no. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> really, don't do that. Yeah. This won't work. Yeah. A One, you're torturing yourself. This. Yeah. I love this episode really emphasizes how much she's really torturing herself to do this. Yeah. Because the first thing is she has home ec class with him. <laughs> they make a nice miso soup. He takes a sip of it and is like, oh, that broth's really good. Do you want to try some? Oh, God. This. And it's like, oh, an, an inverted kiss of it from him. And then Annoying Girls... Uh, annoying Girl steals, steals it. it, and basically the girls do the, what they always do when Sakamoto yeah. touches anything, fight over it. But the face on the mom when yeah. he did that... Oh yeah, oh. the mom has some creepy moments here, and it's scary. God. 
But then she reminds herself, is like, no, I'm pretending to be my son. I can't make this look weird. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can't fight over the cup that Sakamoto just uh, sipped from. Yeah. <laughs> and isn't the next scene where they're getting ready for gym? Yep. And she's like, well, I can't change in front of the boys, so I'll just go to the bathroom. And then the guys are like, hey, Sakamoto, show me your six pack. And she stops, like, no, I can't look. <laughs> oh, wow, that's more like a 12-pack. <laughs> Goes to look, and then... No, she still, like, stops her... She slaps herself. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Goes to look, slaps herself. Leaves. And, and then... It's like, show me those guns! Bangs her head off the wall. <laughs> quite a few times. Yeah. Stomps her foot. Yeah. Just beats the crap out of herself. Yeah, basically, just to... Le Page to remind her, don't look, because it'll be too much for you, apparently. Yeah. And then they have Fizz Ed, and she basically running right behind him the whole time, and then and just it looks gives really age. scary. Yeah, <laughs> cold. In in inevitably, trips. Yep, trips falls, um, and realizes that this cannot happen. Yeah, this is wrong, and she should just leave. Yeah. So she goes back to the classroom. The guys come in. Um, we'll oh. skip this part for yep. the most part. It's not comfortable. Yeah, it's real it's, long. Well, it's high school guys being high school guys. Yeah. They're talking about the other girls. Uh, parks. During, parks during gym class, yes. Yeah. And um, Sakamoto yeah. creates a distraction. Yeah. We'll say that much. Yeah. She, Anyway, it's not, like, we're playing it up as being uncomfortable. It's not a great scene, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's... It's harassment, and we'll not yeah. talk more about it. He does give her, like, when she fell, her, yeah. like, shell necklace. necklace yeah, her shell necklace. She He repairs and gives it back to yeah. her. It's kind of hinted that he knew all along it was her. Mm -hmm. I mean, it wouldn't take him... A genius to figure that out. And we know he's a genius. Yeah. But she comes to the terms that, like, no, I am a mother. I have to take care of my son. Yeah. That is my job. I can't be hunting Sakamoto. Yeah. Anymore. And then, then we're treated to a nice little flashback montage. Yeah. Of her being a mom. Yeah. And, and then cut to hit her taking care of her son. Yeah. It's a nice happy ending. Yeah. But, and hopefully we won't have any more creepy mom. I think that might be the end of her. We have okay, three cool. episodes left in yeah. a special, so yeah. I don't see cool. her coming back. Before we wrap up, I do hope we do see the asshole from the second episode of this. Oh, yeah. Uh, you really want him as an arch rival. I do want him as an arch rival, just to see that back and forth. Yeah, but I have a feeling we might not. It's three episodes left, so it's really late to throw in a rivalry at this point. Yeah, but you never know. I, you never know. Yeah. So, looking forward to that. Yeah. And until next time, we'll call the episode here. Yeah. So, thank you all very much for listening in. And the next part will be the last three episodes of this series. Wow. And possibly the special. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, it's been a... Interesting ride. Yep. All right. Have a good one, guys. Everyone, Cody's uh, flabbergasted still. Peace out. Love you, Sakamoto.